If you've stepped into a supermarket in recent years, chances are you found yourself increasingly pressured by the dilemma of the conscious consumer, buying conventional versus organic food. The demand for organic foods in supermarkets has skyrocketed in recent years, resulting in its increased availability among many supermarkets. However, despite considerable demand, many chains still feature both organic and conventional foods. Organic foods are typically placed directly next to their conventional counterparts, despite considerably different price points. Thus, the consumer is left to make a difficult decision, one that is motivated by both economic considerations and a barrage of other concerns and perceptions about organic food. Chances are, you've grappled with this predicament yourself. So, what are these perceptions about organic foods? Research suggests that major themes of concern among consumers include animal welfare, health, food safety, local economy, and, most notably, environmental sustainability. This last concern is what this brief presentation will address. Is organic agriculture more environmentally sustainable than conventional agriculture? The question is more complex than one may think. Sustainable agriculture is generally understood as agriculture that is capable of maintaining its productivity and usefulness to society over the long run. It must be resource conserving, economically viable, and socially supportive. We see then that sustainability is somewhat of an ambiguous term that is more often recognizable retrospectively. Accordingly, there is also some degree of ambiguity in just how to measure sustainability. However, two common measurements are levels of species biodiversity and long-term soil quality in agricultural environments. Considerable research has been produced surrounding these two measures of sustainability. The majority of research concerning organic versus conventional farms indicate that organic farms contain consistently higher levels of species biodiversity, even when located near non-organic farms situated in virtually synonymous landscapes. Research suggests multiple potential reasons for this in relation to differing management techniques on organic farms, including crops rotated, use of animals, incorporation of non-crop habitat, and rejection of pesticides and synthetic fertilizers. These techniques contrast with conventional agriculture, which is typically comprised of heavy pesticide use, extensive monoculture, and genetically modified crops. A meta-analysis of farming data in Sweden found that organic farming enabled, on average, a 30% increase in species richness and a 50% increase in species abundance when compared to conventional farms. Studies done elsewhere confirm this finding that organic farms are consistently more biodiverse. Another measure of environmental sustainability is long-term soil quality, which is generally measured in two ways. One, how many microbes are in the soil, and two, how much carbon is available for plant growth. Organic farming is generally associated with higher measures of both these two categories, along with a number of other factors related to soil quality, including higher soil pH, reduced soil erosion, and higher water carrying capacities. Therefore, sites of organic agriculture can be productive for longer periods of time than their conventional counterparts. However, as important as these factors are in defining sustainable practices, organic farming is certainly imperfect. The sustainability of an agricultural practice must also consider its economic viability, essentially the overall crop yield of farms. Research has conjured up mixed results on this matter. Some studies in specific regions have concluded that organic farming does not have an impact on overall crop yield, and in some cases can even correlate with increased crop yield. However, there is also considerable meta-analysis that suggests lower crop yield on organic farms and therefore pressure to use more land to produce the same amounts of food. Moreover, it must be noted that although organic farming is consistent with higher levels of species richness and abundance, specific species are consistently favored including birds, predatory insects, vascular plants, and pollinators. Integral in understanding the sustainability of organic farming is remembering that monoculture in any setting will set boundaries for biodiversity. The reality is that sustainability is difficult to quantify, especially in relation to agricultural practices that must produce food for an increasingly large global population. Moreover, many other factors go into quantifying the environmental sustainability of food. For instance, the type of organic food produced, and the distance from point of production to point of sale. However, using soil health and species biodiversity as measurements, organic farming is clearly more environmentally sustainable than conventional farming. The dilemma of the consumer, then, is entirely valid, and as a conscious consumer in the economic position to make this choice, choosing organic is something that can be done to limit one's environmental impact.